Word. The Oscars are on the way, and Black Panther got uh, nominated for seven Oscars mm. total, and one of them is Film of the Year, and it's the first comic movie to get nominated for that. So, nice. Nice. round of applause to Ryan Coogler and everybody and Marvel and everything. Word, 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 word. And oh, my bad. No, no, good. One one thing to go back on. I was I wanted to say that just because this whole like. It's been it's been sensationalized, you know, Me Too mm-hmm. stuff like that has been happening. I feel like with that, it kind of there, there's a double edged sword with that because people in general are opportunists. Yes, I I I, I believe that. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So I, I see this as people like some some might find this an opportunity. Is, oh, if I do this, they're definitely gonna believe me now because you know the whole. The, Man, most of those which, move- which, which 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 hurts the movement at the same time like you know it has it has it has good intentions I believe in the intentions mm-hmm. get all these creeps out, out of, of here, Hollywood yeah. da, 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 but they're not playing the game fair no they're not they're like get all the black creeps out and keep all the white ones but yeah anyway, yeah that that's a whole nother discussion yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a whole nother discussion right. but um yes Black Panther mm. is the first one and then you know I was reading an article about you know everybody saying first of all I've never <laughs> it, it's so funny when Black Panther came out everybody was on it and it was mm. beautiful mm. everybody was wearing the dashikis and the African garbs and mm. everything everybody's united blah blah Word. and then you and have the, the fa- people on the other side the face ass niggas the face ass niggas oh it's just a movie mm. and da, da, blah. Uh, the blah. same niggas that watch Lord of the Rings and think Mordor is a place <laughs> that thinks Mordor exists Word. you hypocrite Hypocritical fuck faces. Word. Hypocritical fuck Nigga, faces. you can speak parcel tongue, dog. Let let people live. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like let people love Westeros and all that. It's, it's the same thing you're doing, but when Word. we start doing this, it's an issue. Word. When we people say, Word. people are actually online talk, you know Wakanda doesn't exist. Who said it Duh. did? Let us let us let Duh. us like something. Duh, but there's niggas, your problem. There's niggas out there learning how to speak Dothraki. Yes, nobody. That does. shit don't exist. Nobody's on. You know, no, bro. Let people live. No, bro. let people have fun. It's not right. like it's not like we're doing something bad. If it's we're running like, around and vandalizing and saying Wakanda a, forever, that's duh. different. Whenever we you do something in mass, is an issue, bro. I'm telling you. And then, um, more good news from the Oscars. Spike mm. Lee, mm. one of my favorite directors, personally, mm. um, finally got nominated. Mm-hmm. Finally got a nomination for a director of the year and movie of movie of the year for Black Klansman. It's you know it's directed by Spike Lee. It's a story of a uh, black police officer who you know signed up for uh, I forgot what city it was. Forgive me, but, but I think in like Mississippi or something. So, you know signed up to be a police officer, and his plan was to infiltrate the KKK. Mm-hmm. It's based on a true story. Mm-hmm. You can look at the video. Um, um, who kid? You know when you get a chance, look up the guy's name and everything. Um, and it stars John David Washington, mm. Denzel Washington's son, yeah. and he sounds just like him. It's <laughs> eerie. <laughs> like, I'm watching him, I'm like, damn, you sound like your daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the movie's about him. You your daddy's son. <laughs> you your daddy's son. Right. Hey, um, yeah, the, the movie is about him infiltrating the KKK, but what he did, he used his, um, his, his white partner. Mm. So he would... He um he he was on the phone talking to Bill Duke, who is the mm-hmm. grand who at the time was the grand wizard of the KKK. Mm-hmm. He put on his white voice mm-hmm. and he was like, you know, I hate blacks, Jews, but and you know, mm-hmm. Bill Duke kind of accepted him. Mm-hmm. But then he was like, all right, how am I gonna go talk to them? Word. So he turned to his by partner. The, by the way, the KKK <laughs> still exists, but not the Black Panthers. Carry on. Never forget. <laughs> It's Ron Stallworth. Stahl- Ron Stallworth. And he's still alive. He still has his KKK member card. Wow. It's crazy. That shit is that shit is crazy. And you know, that's what the movie's about. So please check it out. And the reason it's so insane to me is because Spike Lee has made tons of great movies. Do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Malcolm X, 25th hour, mm-hmm. Crooklyn. Shout out to Janelle. She tried to sneak in, but we're going Nelly Nell. Nell. <laughs> Crooklyn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, this is right up his alley. Yeah. This, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And for instance, the, the one that kills me the most is Malcolm X. Mm. You couldn't tell me that wasn't the actual Malcolm X in that movie. Bro. Denzel put his foot up to his knee Bro. in Big that role. Big shout out to Denzel Washington. Big shout out to Word. Denzel Washington. And, exactly. and they snubbed him. Huh. They snubbed him and they gave the Oscar to Al Pacino, Al Pacino. for um, Sin of a Woman. He played a blind Vietnam vet. 
Mm. And he was like, it, it's it's it wasn't a bad movie. So it was playing off scent. The, he was going off scent. Doing hell of a scent. So he was, yeah, exactly. He was, he was going off he was scent. A, he was going to smell on these women's. <laughs> exactly. He you know like, what I'm saying? But it wasn't fully about that. So it was like instead of you, you know, Ray Charles grabbed him by the wrist. He was. Like, <laughs> She Am I smelled. in the fish market? She, oh, wow. <laughs> but but she, yeah. She smelled fine. But yeah, like Denzel put his foot into that role. The movie was well shot, well written. And he wasn't even not. Denzel was not, like I said, Denzel was nominated, but Spike Lee wasn't nominated for movie of the year. And he's been out forever. Mm. And he's just now getting nominated. Word. Remember a couple years ago, hashtag Oscar is so white? Mm-hmm. Oscar's been so white. Yeah. They should have changed the hashtag to that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Pe- Black people still winning. Still becoming first black person to da 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 da. Dog, it's you know? 2018. Word, word. And then not to mention when they give us the Oscars, mm-hmm. Holly Berry had to play a prostitute. Mm-hmm. Denzel Watts had to play a crooked cop. Mm-hmm. Lupita Nyong'o had to play a slave that got raped. Mm-hmm. The first woman, the first black woman to play to win an Oscar, she played a slave. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the the lady from the Help, she was a slave. You 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 see what I'm getting word, at? They, they Monique were... was a piece of shit mother in Precious. You mm-hmm. wanna. Like why do we have to? Uh, they reward us for the for the roles that they already think we are. We, thank you, sir. <laughs> That's exactly what they wow. do. Wow. And I can comb through Hollywood and find so many black people roles that deserve Oscars. But mm. oh, I don't know if you know who Kim Basinger is. is there... Kim Basinger. No. Yeah, she, she's an old she's an old W actor. She she's mm. cool. Mm. Um, at the Oscars, um, do the right thing came out in like eighty nine. So the Oscars was in ninety, I think. That grubber. And she was about to present. Best picture, like the only thing, do the right thing was nominated for best original script. Mm. But she was about to um announce the best picture, and before she did, I like show you the video later. Um, she was like basically saying it's a shame, it's a damn shame mm. that do the right thing wasn't nominated because it tells the truth, but it's probably not the truth y'all want to hear. Mm. You've seen do the right thing, right? Um, yes, yeah. He Spike Lee was ahead of his time. Remember mm-hmm. how the movie ended with Radio Rahim and everything? Mm-hmm. That was in '89. We still gonna do that shit right now. Mm-hmm. And she, this white lady, Kim Beige was big in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And once she said that, you noticed she kind of like dwindled off. Oh. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't in a lot of great roles. She was in like L.A. Confidential, but after that, she kind of like dwindled off. Be- mm-hmm. And like uh, according to tweet, she has agoraphobia. You know what that is? Agoraphobia? Yeah, it's a fear of talking in front of crowds. Oh. And she went up there, mm. out her own mouth, out her own energy. She didn't have to and praise Spike Lee and do the right. And you should have heard her in the voice. She was so nervous, mm. but she did it anyway. And I appreciate her for that. Word, word. You know word. what I'm saying? And it, it's fucking disgusting. It's like, Spike Lee's been making movies since the 80s, and mm. he's just getting a best director no- nomination, not mm. even a win. Word, nomination. Word. word. And, he's a, <laughs> and he's a legend in the hood, bro. Legend. You know what I'm Granted. Saying? He does have some bad ones, but every director has bad movies. Mm-hmm. But like it's it's like you, you, you tell me you snubbed him for that long. Word. And, and you people, you like I know you crackers like some of his movies. Of course, bro. They <laughs> and they, they keep giving giving M Night Shyamalan chances after chances, and but he 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 makes he he makes he'll he'll have like he makes good movies. Sometimes, he does, but sometimes the twists are like. <laughs> really dog. All right, for instance, the build up is is better than it, the than the the twist itself. I feel like he gets a lot of unnecessary flack because, the, all right, the thing is, I feel like he gets flack because he will present something as a horror movie, mm. and then it won't be. Mm. It'll just be a good movie, and people go and expect in a horror, and they don't get it, and they look past it being an actual the, good movie. That's not with The Village. That's what I'm talking about. The mm. Village was good. Mm. I like The Village. Mm-hmm. For for the time where it was supposed to be scary, it was. Mm. But after she jumped over, oh, spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. Five, four, three. Yeah. After he jumped over the wall, mm. I was in the movie there. Everybody was groaning like, what? Yeah. What? Da, 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 blah, blah. And yeah. then what happened, happened. Mm. But what's dope about the movie, because remember, she's blind. Mm. And she lived in that little recluse village for so long. Mm. And they fed her that monster story for so long. She jumped the wall. Mm. She talked to the dude. M. Night Shyamalan played. Mm. She got the medicine for the dude that got stabbed or whatever. And she still believed mm. That where she lived was real. That's why it's a good movie. Yeah. Like she he's trying to show that you can get so scared and desensitized to something mm. that even like <laughs> like 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 even if somebody tells you the truth about you, it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why it's a good movie. But after she jumped the wall, everybody's like, oh shut the fuck up, this is whack. No. Yo. You just have bad taste. Yo. That's what that movie was about, man. You describe America. 
Oh, we. You know what I'm saying? We just Ooh, went. We. we just went places. Yo, I just want you to know, on uh, live, uh-huh. everyone trashing you for liking the village. Oh, <laughs> kiss my ass! I don't care. Y'all don't know movies. I didn't say it was the greatest movie. It's not even his best movie. His best movie by far is Sixth Sense. Obviously, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna debate that. This, <laughs> it's Sixth Sense, Signs, Unbreakable, Split. Not in this order. Um, what was the other one? Uh, even Signs was. I enjoyed Signs. Signs was great. It had I, one of the best jump scares ever. Where, oh, we was watching TV. What? And Walkie <laughs> Phoenix was like, Vamanos, children, Vamanos. And the alien walked by. I'm going to shit myself. Bro, Are you for, kidding me? For real. That was awesome. Man. I, 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 enjoyed the, um, I enjoyed the movie. But then it's only to. Because I watch it. When it came I watched it. I was, 02. 02. I was, yeah. I was what, 12, 13? Yeah. So. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't realize the plot in the story till late years later. I'm like, water. See, yeah. See, that's the thing. The atmosphere. That's the thing. It's what? like this is the like, atmosphere. Like, if if water killed, like, was there a weakness? Mm-hmm. The atmosphere would kill them. The, the exactly. air would kill see, them. See, see, see. That's the see. see <laughs> that's the thing about M Night Shyamalan movie. I'm about to hit you with an analogy. Mm-hmm. This is the M Night Shyamalan movie. Mm-hmm. M Night picks you up in a limo on a date. <laughs> On your way, you drink a champagne, you vibe, and you get to your favorite restaurant. He orders your favorite thing. Mm. After he takes you to, you know, a movie or whatever, blah, blah. Mm. And then he takes you back to your crib. You invite him in. Y'all about to have sex. And he has a micro penis. That's a, that's a M. Night Shyamalan movie. The build up and then the twist is like, what? <laughs> what is this? You know what I'm saying? Word. But it's not all of his movies. So, so when guys take you People on a date, online agree fuck with you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, I think um, another one is uh, Vice. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Vice. You know the the uh, the story about uh, George Bush's vice president, oh, Dick Cheney. Oh, Dick Cheney. Story about Dick Cheney. Word. You should respond to some of these things on here. What they say? <laughs> oh, it's not. Take it and flip the camera. Oh, hold on. Are you just hold now on. passing? <laughs> no, he wasn't paying attention. So, um, <laughs> hold on. Let, he said tragedy. He said they won't win because too many black people in the movie. <laughs> they said that's why they were nominated. Mm. And then everybody, you know, everybody's gonna say, "Oh, it's pity." You know what I'm saying? Like, no, but, no, no. Not only did it have a full black cast and everything, it mm. was a blockbuster. It was Word. a high selling movie that year. Word. It's a high selling Marvel movie ever. Word. It's a high selling um, superhero movie ever. Word. It's a high selling movie with all black cast ever. Word. That shit is serious. Word. And why? You see movies all the time with all white cast and you don't blink your eye. And a whitewashed cast. A whitewashed cast. A cast that's supposed to be all black. Word. Like, they, they Word. want me to think Christian Bale is from Egypt. What? Fuck you. Bro, that what is you talk about. That movie was what? Granted, Christian Bale's one of my favorite actors. Word. That nigga puts the method in method actor. However, he's not from Egypt. <laughs> Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. And, and, and you make a movie about... A country on the African continent, and, and and you feel a way about the cast being black, bro. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like how, it's all how Asians. Dare you, how dare you get mad at us for wanting facts? Word, it's all <laughs> Asians in a kung fu movie. Oh shit! Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Well, that's, that's what, what hap- you know. what I'm saying that's what happens oh. when you go to certain geographical locations. It's exactly, full of, it's full of motherfuckers that look a certain way. But shout out Geekland online. He said that white guy in Black Panther will get Best Actor though. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> They had to. They had to have a W in the mix. But anyway. um, round bottom girls. That's another one. Word. Black Panther two will have all white cast with black face. <laughs> Y'all niggas wild. But then <laughs> there's more. Pr- and uh, that's another thing. There's more pressure on us to be inclusive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we're naturally more inclusive too. So, um, the ones that are nominated: is Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Black Panther, The Shape of No, no, sorry, this is old. Um, yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody, Black Panther, The Favorite. And and on Roma, it's a it's a foreign language film. Okay, but um, I'm not gonna lie. I've only seen a couple of these. Mm-hmm. I only saw Black Panther, and yeah, that that, that was it. I didn't see Bohemian Rhapsody. Word. We need to watch that. I want to watch that. No, no, no. It's a it's a great movie because you know I spoke to people that that watched it or whatever. But mm-hmm. I don't want to. I want to see get some insight on how they made music, bro. Because they literally like. There's some like layers, bro. 
Oh yeah, yeah. They they don't. Bohemian Rhapsody is a fantastic example. Bro. That song is actually seventeen songs. Bro, <laughs> it is. That 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 that's one of the like greatest and, songs ever. All right, here bro, it is. and somebody to love, bro. On um, Black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, the favorite, Green Book, mm. Roma, A Star Is Born, and Vice. Okay, I've seen only Black oh, Klansman man. and Black Panther. You know what I'm worried about. I'm holding up my black power fist. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm worried about a star is born, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Low well, key, low key. They kind of owe Bradley for that movie because um, they kind of snubbed him on um, what's the one where he played the guy with the mental condition? Um, Silver Linings Playbook. Oh, oh, shot. That was a real good movie, but you know, mm. Bradley Cooper, you know, I think he directed in the wrote the but, screenplay or whatever. But, uh, but. Um, it got Lady Gaga. Oh yes. W is love Lady Gaga. Yes, Wait, they that, do. it had Chappelle's in that movie, ain't it? That's another reason why I'm Oh Chappelle was in it. You're included. Shut up. You don't understand the word inclusion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yes, shout out to hashtag Oscars so damn black. Word. I made up that hashtag. If you see it after this episode, they Word. stole it from me. Word. Oh, and when they when they do include us, there's always one of us that ain't in regular niggas' tax bracket. Oh, you got Chappelle in your movie. Oh, you have Chris Rock in your movie. Oh, you got Eddie Murphy in your movie. Yeah, like oh, you oh the, the, the one of the Rat Pack. That's that's their version of the one drop rule. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like oh, we have a drop of black people in there. Stop complaining. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're gonna trust me. You're gonna see the people that are on the whole. Oh, they're just doing like, this because for pity and mm-hmm. no, no. It was whenever, a block, like, whenever, whenever we get it, uh-huh. it's uh, they're always gonna say it's because we're black. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it is, mm-hmm. but if you keep that mentality, then you'll always be like that. You can never think you can make something that's universally accepted or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason it sh- it can and it might and it should win um, Oscar for best film is look at Titanic. Mm-hmm. That was the biggest blockbuster of that year, and it won. Mm. That movie is still a 50-50 on people. Yeah. Not to be sexist or rude or anything, but most of the people I know who love that movie are women because it's a good love story and everything. Mm. But Black Panther, you know, was universally loved. Now, Black, um, Titanic got a good rating. It's, I'm not right. saying it's a bad movie. And that was a long but movie, too. That, yeah, it's, and I got two sisters, dog. You <laughs> watched the fuck out of that movie, dog. That's a chunk out of your life you can never Bro, get back. Bro, and they cried every motherfucking time, dog. But I still got to watch it, dog. I owe somebody something. Anyway, <laughs> you ain't seen it before? Nah, I ain't never seen Titanic. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta cut out three hours? I watched The Godfather. That movie's almost three hours. You know That's worth it. I'm not gonna lie. You could watch Titanic and enjoy I enjoyed Titanic. No, the I'm first. Not, I'm not saying I won't enjoy five it. Five times I watched it, Danielle. <laughs> Renee. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, Flock of Zulu sisters putting them through that torture. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I just haven't. Gotten around. I've watched. I haven't watched a lot of movies. People say, "Oh, you haven't watched that." Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's the fact that it's the based point. on a true story. That's just so is Black Panther. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so trust me, if Black Panther wins, I won't be surprised because it was the biggest blockbuster in recent years. You know, you know what's um, you know what's crazy about the Titanic? What? There was a novel that came out years before the actual Titanic was built about a supposedly unsinkable ship going into the Illuminati. ocean. Illuminati. And hitting an iceberg. Like, literally the same way how the Titanic um, sunk. And then, a couple years later, they built a ship, called it unsinkable, and then hit an iceberg. And then they made a movie out of it. Word. Hashtag Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag respect icebergs. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, is that where the um that saying <coughs> it's only the tip of the iceberg comes from? I know it doesn't. I'm kidding. I'm being silly. <laughs> but yes, hashtag Oscars so damn black. Mm-hmm. 